Roscoe Pound was the Dean of Harvard Law School at a transformative time in the history of legal education from 1916 to 1936. He posited that the law of civil wrongs evolves in three steps. The first step is to redress physical wrongs. Historically, this would have included trespass against a person. Today, it includes what we know as battery. It makes sense that this would come first. If people are organizing into a society, the first thing they have to do to make things work is stop each other from hitting other people over the head with rocks. The second step is to redress the overcoming of the will by another. This includes economic harms, such as harm to a business, and dignitary harms, such as defamation. The third and final step is to redress purely mental harms. This would include today's infliction of emotional distress. It could include the heart bomb torts of the late 1800s. And finally, it could reach compensating just her feelings. It's a little bit misleading to call this the pound progression in that it doesn't necessarily mean progress to advance from the physical to the will to the emotional all the way to the logical end of compensating hurt feelings. There must be some logical stopping point along the way. Also, Roscoe Pound didn't mean to say that progressing across these steps is necessarily good or bad. What he did want us to realize is that as the injury we're compensating becomes more abstract from the physical to the economic to the dignitary and to the emotional, it becomes more difficult for us to be sure that our civil justice system is compensating a real wrong and doing so accurately and fairly. That is, it becomes a little bit easier for a plaintiff to perpetrate a fraud on the court or for the civil justice system to err. Therefore, as we move through the pound progression to more abstract injuries, we might expect our civil system to place more demands on the plaintiff before an award is made.